Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna introduce you to a brand new company out of Sydney, Australia, making some really incredible and ingenious things for our reef tanks. Dreams Plus coming right up. Alright, thank you for joining me in another episode of Parker's Reefs and I'm still continuing with all of the incredible footage that I got from Reef Stock Australia where I got the chance to chat with most of the vendors there. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get my way around to all of them, but one of the stalls I did manage to get the opportunity to chat to was Dreams Plus and I was super excited to see the products they had there and also chat to the team because there was some stuff that um, absolutely blew my mind and it was from a company that I've not heard from before, so it was all new and exciting to me so I'm super excited to bring you guys this footage. Let's have a chat with Paul from Dreams Plus because he's got a bevy of brand new products there which really are only just there to showcase the type of things that they can custom make for your aquarium. So um, let's roll the footage, let's have a chat to Paul and see what incredible goodies they can make for you and your reef tank. All right, I'm here at Dreams Plus with Paul who's going to tell us about uh, some of the products that these guys have been making and uh, a little bit about the business because this is a uh, hyper-color explosion of excitement up at this end of the uh, Reef Stock Sydney. You look at this sump here with the LEDs lighting it up with some LED color chasing things going on there, but there's all sorts of craziness happening here. So I've met with Paul, he's gonna tell us about the company. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try to start. So look, Dreams Plus um, was a brainchild of COVID. I was born in COVID, just went from uh, Balaji's hobby, snowboard from there, uh, where we worked together. Yep. Um, and from that, we've, I have a glass background, engineer background, uh, completely fresh and green to the aquatics game. Sure. Um, but yeah, we started with building the cabinets uh, and the aluminium and the glazing side of things. Yeah, let's then have we, a look at that because that's yeah. crazy. So This is a pretty uh, bling bling cabinet. Yeah, again, just to show off what we do, it doesn't that always have to be so blingy. Yeah. But, <laughs> We've got like a high quality aluminium where we've powder coated it, welded yeah, it, nice. nice and neat. Tried to overthink every little aspect. Because um, we own a glass company, we can do fancy things with glass and yeah. do cool different colors and things. Amazing. Um, so these doors here are actually glass, they're not a plastic. Yeah, they're... this is a very high quality Italian glass that's been etched. Wow. Um, yeah. Not everyone's taste, but we can do whatever you want. You just can do, yeah, exactly. This is a demonstration yeah, uh, of what's just, possible, yeah. Yeah. Um, so with that, uh, Balaji's idea, he wants everything integrated. So yes. basically you don't want to mess behind there. So he went all the way to the cabinet, the electrical cabinet, all nice and neat and tidy behind here. No, sorry. Got the, oh wow, look at that. So our one's obviously got an iPad set up, all the different switching. Yep, yep, um, so put all your controllers and things there. We've got a Kessel, we got a Max Spect, we got an iPad there. Yep, and like to, to tell you how deep we initially went, we had a meeting and bought five different types of um, power switches and sat there feeling the switch and see how good it felt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. So that's how, how deep the, the engine That's the quality behind. control yeah. going so in there. Was, yeah, that was kind of the first one and then this is the latest iteration. Yeah, right. And then we discovered um, uh, the acrylic side. Sure. And then we got a CNC machine, so yep. we and went and built a frag rack. Um, yeah, not just any frag rack though. <laughs> this, this, is, this is not like any frag rack I've seen before. No, Tell me about it. And people walk past and go, what the, what the hell is that? So <laughs> this is our iteration of a frag rack. Um, it's probably number three, version number three. Yep. The first two were, were solid in the middle. Um, and obviously there was more build up there, but um, it just was designed on a piece of paper, like a, <laughs> a yeah. napkin. We can kind of screw it all up. And just to show off what our machines are capable of and what we can design, uh, it's actually tapered on the end. Yeah, it's, Again, it's so, going to allow that water flow to just come yeah, around Yeah, we realized it. the first one was kind of vibrating a little bit, but yes. it actually gave water flow. Yep. Um, again, LED just for that touch, it's not necessary, but yeah, of course. <laughs> it's there. If you want to light it up, you can. Yeah, so we've got one in our tank and it hangs in the middle of the tank. Yes. Off the brace in the, in, in the middle. Yep, yep. So this here is just to show you that it, uh, you can mount this off the uh, center brace of your tank or yep. the side brace, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, all of a sudden you've got a whole heap of uh, more space frags. for frags. Yeah, which... and they're nice and high and yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Super nifty idea. Yeah. So then, yeah, we started playing with, you know, the dosing. Like, this is our kind of setup that we've made. Uh, they're one, two and five liters we're making. Beautiful. All color coded, nice and etched in there. Yeah, yeah. So. Lovely. Yeah. I really love the uh, soft tubing inside the hard tubing there just to. Yeah. 
get it right down to the bottom and uh, it also gives that little hint of colour as well. Which well, you're is paying cool. for that tube anyway, so you might as well see yeah. it, right? And, <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Get it nice down to the bottom, so yeah. They're really neat. And over here you've got a little, uh, just an example of some of the different types, like if you wanted to have a, a specialised one for Nopox or for Magnesium, KH, etc. Yep. Whatever you want on there, whatever colours. Again, we make, make them up. to suit the order. So Definitely. it's not like we have a warehouse sitting with all these in there. Yep. Whatever you want, all put your name cool. on it, whatever, we, whatever you want to crazy, do. Crazy, crazy cool. Um, very, very nice. Yeah, just quickly on this is a different take on a weir. Yeah. So the return is in the middle of the tank. Right. And it's got two safety valves in there, mechanical valves. Yes. So yeah, it can never, never fail really. Yeah, yeah. And then Balaj, you probably knows a bit more about this than me, but he's built a larger manifold. So okay. these wings of manifolds that grab the top water layer more efficiently. Okay, yeah, yeah. And more surface area of that. Yes. Um, so then, these manifolds are actually to drain water back to the yes. sump. They're almost an yeah. extension of the weir cone. It's an extended weir that just yeah. to, again, not necessary on every tank, but we're no, trying no. to get the weir very small. So yeah, yeah it was, it's so compact that we had to notch the back of the sump. Yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've actually got a silencer system where let's air out water in, and that's attached to the back of this manifold. And then the intention here is this is all full siphoned water, so you ha have no gargling, you have no water sounds whatsoever, really. Amazing. Um, again, over-engineered. Yeah, no, you're um, speaking my language. Yeah. <laughs> over-engineered is, uh, is my game. So, but yeah, trying something different. Again, just with a different head. Um, yeah. And we're not trying to come into this this world because I've, we've learnt a lot in this short period we've been in there, telling people what to do because we, we we're kind of green to it. We're just bringing our aspect, just just yeah. doing some different things and showing people yeah, what's possible. See, I really yeah, like it. Possible. So that's really interesting. I think it's cool. Now there's there's another product over here that we've got to have a look at because yeah. Um, so all that happened and then this popped out. So this is our our latest sum. So we're really proud of this. This is kind absolutely of absolutely beautiful. The piece de resistance where. Elijah's well, gone all the way to build a roller mat system. Yeah. Um, and we worked really hard, like 10 mil thick, flush everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. A lot That's of detail. Absolutely. Um, we've got our logo embedded in that detail, but it's still practical and absolutely. it works. Um, I, though it looks pretty, I believe the engineering side of things actually works very well too. Functional as well. Um, yeah, yeah. There's little bits and pieces as so we've got like a rack where your skimmer sits on. Yes. But it's adjustable. Yes. So the intention there is to get the right area of the skimmer nice and high. So we're using all the sump. Yep, yep. So, yeah. And again, there's there's so many details to this that to be honest, I, I'm not <laughs> yeah, no, sure I'll on. Yeah, we'll get but, some B-roll footage to yeah. show the uh, people at home. Well, you will go deeper with that, but yeah, it's uh, we're very proud of this as the end and just showing um, off all the different things we can do customized. Definitely, value. definitely. No, that's that's incredible. And you've got some uh, media yeah. baskets. What, yeah. what are these here? Some. So they, they hold all the underneath the media baskets. Yeah, um, right. So we tried to tuck it all in nice and neat. Um, yes. Just uh, the cakes the, yep. that sit below. Yep, yep. Uh, so again, using every square centimeter. Oh, wow. We believe it all sits in there nice and neat. Um, these are all matte finish. Yeah, they're beautiful. Build. Like, this took a very long time on our machines i bet but they, they look the part they look sensational <laughs> they look so yeah so commercial quality they're fantastic okay. all right now speaking of b-roll the team at dreams plus actually have allowed me to use this promotional video they had commissioned and it's just too good not to use showcasing some of the products we've seen in the video so far but also going into some finer detail in their sump. Have a look at those beautiful engravings in that uh, sump to allow the water to flow through. Also cover some of the details like the integrated plumbing like we see here. Of course, their roller mat, which is an integral part of any good quality custom sump. Height adjustable baffles, We've got the uh, probe holders out there, and of course, a spot to put all of your dosing containers. Then they move on to their media baskets and skimmer bases, which of course are adjustable. And then their unique take on the overflow, which um, is something so super interesting with that submerged uh, valve. So I couldn't help but share this beautiful video here. Let's get back to the interview. Now, well, where can people uh, find out more information or get in touch with you guys? So we just launched a website, um, pretty fresh at the moment. We'll start putting some content up on there. Uh, we've got a showroom in Leichhardt in Sydney uh, where we have a running tank 
uh, with our old sump, but yeah, it's a running tank, shows off what we do. And yeah, there's different parts. So again, we, we were trying to team up with like local tank um, service people who yep. don't really want the headache of establishing a new tank in terms of the, uh, like the construction side of things. So if we could help with building the stand, the glazing, and the, and the tank itself, and then let the service guys take over from there. Fantastic. But yeah, also the acrylics too. Brilliant. That's awesome. So jump on uh, dreamsplus.com.au. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Fantastic. I'll be sure to put the link in the video. Thank you. Super, super intrigued. I really like the uh, different approach, the high quality finishes, and just um, a fresh angle on so many things we take for granted in reefing. It's uh, very refreshing to see. So please keep up the good work, and um, thanks, thanks for taking the time to talk thanks to us. Thanks for the time. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the overview from Dreams Plus. As I touched on, they are a brand new company out of Sydney, Australia, and I would highly recommend you jump on their website and also onto their socials to help them build their presence there because if you're anything like me, I wanna keep a very close eye on the products they're producing. I know my good friend Jared from Sydney recently picked up one of their roller mats and he thinks it is a fantastic bit of kit. So I'm really keen to see what these guys continue to make and what they're gonna push the boundaries on with our reef tanks in the future because um, I don't know if you know me, I I am a little bit of a reef gadget junkie and I do always love to see new things that are coming out that just push the boundaries and envelopes in slightly different directions. Anyway guys, I will wrap things up there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments for myself or the Dreams Plus crew, be sure to pop in the comments section down below because I do personally reply to each and every comment from there. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, including even more content from Reef Stock Australia, be sure to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Other than that, guys, till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers. Bye.